message is obvious on the on the, on the album. It's called Straight Out of Hell. So you see, you know, there's really hell going on in the background. And then, of course, you have the Pumpkin Man surviving because everybody is anxious about 2012. Ooh, we're all gonna die. But the pumpkins will survive, obviously. That's the message because everybody is using that subject 2012 and we didn't want to use it. We say, like, hey, nothing, probably nothing is going to happen. And then we're still there doing an album, doing a tour. And of course, well, um, still every day a new asshole will be born again as well, you know. So the first idea was having some industrial pipeline um, coming out of the hell and then you have those like Martell action figures, you have some um, Adolf Hitler pumpkin man and uh, Mobutu Tizi and all those kind of, um, no Mobutu Tizi, that's his name, or Nigeria and all those bad dictators coming out of hell from this industrial pipeline, you know, that was the first idea. But then obviously as a German band you can put Adolf Hitler pumpkin man on the cover so a lot of people wouldn't understand what it's meant for that, so we decided to do it something somehow else, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's a really established lineup, and it's working, yeah, it's, it's working really good, and it wouldn't make sense to change anything. It's, it's part of the history, you gotta play them. So, of course, I mean, um, when, when I joined the band almost 10 years ago, we um, were playing songs from um, Time of the Rings and stuff, and people were, uh, play more old songs, play more old songs. And then we played more old songs, then they said, like, don't play the old songs all the time, you know. Uh, you can't do it right, and um, but you have to play a lot of stuff, of course. And, and it's hard with those kind of, um, with those many albums um, over the years, playing for two hour show, um, making everybody happy, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to do that. But obviously you gotta play Dr. Steen or uh, you gotta play Eagle Fly Free. If you don't play those songs, people will say like, ah, they didn't play Dr. Steen. Yeah. So, and if you play Dr. Steen, they say like, always, they play always the old songs. <laughs> It's very, uh, maybe it's very difficult to make a set list because you have so many albums. Exactly, exactly. And you can't play all albums. And we just do it, and um, yeah, and most people don't complain. It's just the three same people on the internet. Yeah. Maybe a very. I mean, the one person with the three, uh, the one IP address with the three person. Maybe a very few ones, some bonus tracks, and the other ones. Can yeah. Those go eight, you know? Wow. They want us to play five hours. Or something. <laughs> we're planning. We're planning for that. Obviously, it's a good idea to do that. Uh, but still, we don't know what to do. So, because it's a lot of stuff going on, we we just um, have. I played in, in a park festival in Japan and we have some um, promotion work to do obviously and then we're doing some rehearsals playing a festival this Saturday coming up and yeah then we have Christmas, New Year's Eve and then we're preparing for 70,000 tons of metal cruise and then we're planning to um, do rehearsals for the tour and in between we're going to decide what we're going to play with Gamma Ray together in collaboration but we still don't know what it is maybe walls of Jericho stuff I don't I don't know I don't know we have so many ideas I mean there's so much stuff you can do and we have a couple of ideas but we'll see I get inspired by life. I mean, that song could, could have been written by any one of you or me, or you know, it's it's more a song that is open for everyone, you know, to decide who he wants to be the asshole. 
So it's more cheering up positive song with straightforward lyrics, but it's something, it's a word you say every day, you, or you hear it at least every day, and this is an asshole, that is an asshole, and whatever, and I thought like it's great to have a song about it, you know, a cheering up, good positive song, for example, you stand up in the morning, getting into your car, uh, driving to the office and you know there's this big asshole you have to work with, for example. And then you just cheer up and sing along with the song while you drive in your car and make gives you a positive feeling instead of seeing the glass half empty, you see it half full, you know. That's the difference. It's living on the bright side. It's exciting for the first two weeks or something, and then um, you really want to go home. Right? And and everyone's different. I mean, for me, I don't like October touring at all. I really hate it, but it has to be done. And I like the tours where we go on the plane, like in South America, we go on the plane, flying to the next show, hotel room. You got your shower and everything. You got your own space, privacy, and and then you fly to the next show. I enjoy that part. But some people they hate airports and they don't like that part. Some people like to be on tour bus. So everyone's different.